Monday. Are we recording? Yeah. Okay, okay, good. Let's just roll right into it. How the fuck is everyone? So fucking stupid. Happy Monday. Nobody watches this shit. Nobody watches this shit. Doesn't even matter. Yeah, now your fucking bingo cards. Oh man. New new bright future for you today. Um, as the time this is releasing, mm-hmm. I am currently in Reading. Oh, why? Because I'll go down there and then I'll come back Monday because we didn't plan ahead. And there's a lot of packages still coming here Monday mm. that need signatures, but I need to clean anyways. So okay. it's okay. I'll be up here. You know, it's wild. Yeah, doing a thing. You know, it's wild is looking directly behind you. Nothing looks like it's packed. Oh, I know. There's it's literally it looks just like, directly behind me. Yeah. It's that. <laughs> it's that. I ran out of boxes. Okay. I was going to say. It's that. And there's some stuff in the kitchen. Everything else is so weird. Really? Like all like weirdly like stacked up and okay. like in boxes okay. and like there's a bean bag. And it's literally like just unplug the TV, take it off the wall. Sure. Put the entertainment center there in the trailer. Undo that. So you took you that, took there's a there's a lot of weird shit uh-huh. that doesn't stack in boxes like fake plants and like fucking like TJ Maxx decorations. You know, like it's like oh, oh. we need a gold elephant. Yeah. <laughs> like, shit yeah. like that. Where it's like, how do you fucking wrap this? So there's a lot of stuff like that that's just piled right there. Man, you know what you should do? Just this is this is just I don't know. Is there a Petco near you? Yeah. Okay. Go to the back behind Petco. There are these blue tote things that normally Petco's will put outside when they're like plastic bins that like fold on top of one another, but they'll set them outside um, after they're done doing their inventory because the next shipment that comes in will pick up those blue totes and take them away. They'll stack pallets outside and they'll stack those blue totes outside. If you need, if you ever need boxes, people hit up your local Petco. Don't say anything. Just go around the back, sneak them and go. Cause Bro, I live in Reading. You think there's not a fucking line of homeless out there that already got a grift on that? I don't know. I'm not. I made it this far without getting stabbed to death by like a fucking heroin spoon. I'm good. I'm good. I'll just I'll just go to Home Depot and pay a dollar forty nine for some boxes okay. instead of fucking taping phone books around my midsection like it's the wire. <laughs> but like, taping the fuck? forks and knives your yeah. hands. <laughs> 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 I don't think I I mean be, you got to be adventurous a little bit man why not Nah good I don't Did you see Rise streaming right now Yeah yeah I want to do it Let's fucking wipe <laughs> Let, Let's go Let's wipe let's fucking zero to, it looks so painful It looks God, so See bad. this is the fucking problem with Tarkov I don't think I actually like winning well, you don't. I, th- I think everybody else, like you guys, are like, oh, you don't like winning, Brad. I don't. I don't. And I'm coming to terms with that. I enjoy the pain. Will's like, oh, God, I keep dying to the goons. I love that. Well, I love because if you win, cool. But if you don't, God, it was probably a good fight. Aaron, it sucks when it when it isn't anything. But Aaron, Aaron last night. So I, I here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is what I'm realizing about Aaron. Aaron, um, like is classic. What is it DSM four, like class stage three hoarder? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so, so what happens is like, he, remember Baldur's Gate? Why do you have all those spears? <laughs> you never know when you're gonna need fucking three rows of spears. So he he collects a bunch of stuff. He has a bunch of things, and then what ends up happening is that he's not comfortable losing those things. Right. The, ga- the name of the game with Tarkov is to, to lose it. Right. You're not supposed to keep shit. Yeah, um, you're going to lose everything. So we, 
the new missions for the new update or whatever are out in PVE. So we're like, we're trying to do them. So last night, me, him, and Rai are playing. And it requires requires you to go back to ground zero. Now, it wouldn't be so bad if it was wipe, but for us in the PVE, it doesn't wipe. So we're, you know, rise 30 plus respectively. I'm 27, 28 like Aaron's 18 or whatever. So it's like, fuck, okay, we got to go back to ground zero. All we had to do was just get to one, like you just have to, you know where the mine is downstairs in that building where like people, like the first couple weeks when ground zero came out, people kept walking in that room because there's like a safe or something and then they just blow up because it's a claymore. So all you have to do is get close to that door. That's all we have to do. We walked in and got murdered by, what's his name, Colin Tay or whatever, the boss who's like, Got f- f- just annihilated, and Aaron's like, "God damn it! What the fuck?" I was like, "I don't know, man. Like that sucks. He's only there on like when you're level twenty and plus. So I'm assuming that's what we're just gonna have to do. We just gotta run in, but he's scary. So let's get kitted and be ready for him and go it. So Aaron puts a kit back together. Wait. Yes, yes. Colin is- toy. Yeah. And spot on ground zero. Yep. Level twenty and up. Oh. He's got four guards. I didn't know that. It's scary, dude. It's fucking <clears throat> scary. If the guards weren't bad enough about Colin Toy, just the fact that if he gets within melee range, he jams your gun. Like that's the stupidest part of it. He's an absolute <clears throat> savage. We died instantly to him. So we go yeah, back in a- we go back in a, a second time, and I spawned underneath the bridge. So when I sp- so they spawned up close to like where the 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 wine bottle is. I spawn underneath the bridge. And this has been happening a lot. Like we load into a game and I spawn on opposite ends of the map. Mm. I spawned on top of a scav. So as my screen was coming in from black, I just hear him going, cheeky breaky. And I'm like, what the fuck? Just lighten him up. I live. Two more scavs push up from me. I run up to the top. They're like, holy shit, we're getting pushed by PMC. So I finally make it up to them. I'm like laying on the ground behind like this thing. And Aaron's like, the PMCs are on the other side of the wall. I'm like, cool, awesome. Let's get up and take care of it. Grenade fucking directly on top of us kills us. And Aaron's like, I'm out. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> and he just goes to bed. <laughs> yeah. And it's like that frustration only comes from people who are attached to their hoarder like items. Yeah. You know what I mean? Once, yeah. once you, once you stop giving a shit about, he's got eight million in the bank. It's like, dude, you're not hurting to rebuild. I've got, I've got seventeen thousand in the bank. It's, that's a problem, though. Too. You should be by and, your stage. Uh, you should be at least a couple million in the bank. No, no, you guys are way ahead of me. I think I'm sixteen, Mm-mm. eighteen, nineteen, something like that. Me? Yeah. No. Almost positive. No. I have your dog tag at like level eighteen. Uh, no, it might be. Yeah, I don't know. I'm. It's all combat, though. I I know. I have completely abandoned all <laughs> all tasks. My t- my t- I'm just. Well, I'm stuck. I'm on, having so much fun just killing shit. Uh, uh, me and Ryan were talking about this last night that um, the PVE mode may might actually make you a better PVP player because the likelihood that you're gonna run into people who are like chads in a sense or just straight savages is like one in probably 20 and then most of the other players are probably going to be pretty mid mid range players but um the pve every single one of them in there is a fucking aimbot yeah they're pretty gnarly they're pretty gnarly they may not have the gamer sense and the like the ability to move like players do but their shots they are locked on so premature. <laughs> and now that scavs are just like, like precision airstrike missile grenades. Whoa. You lagged a little bit. You good? <laughs> don't do it don't do it well i mean it's the last time in reading maybe <laughs> yeah delicious got a little fuzz on that anyway but yeah i mean that's that's been that, that's been the most annoying right now is dying to scav grenades i think that that needs to be <laughs> reworked everything everything got borked they did They've done two patches already since wipe, which is, is that's just Tarkov shit. Yeah. But it's like the first patch broke the audio. 
So they tried to fix that. And then on top of that, like you watch people try to throw grenades right now. They're running into invisible objects. The audio still fucking like people are just getting doinked from nowhere and have no clue where. Like it's it's just Tarkov shit. It is. And they said that this patch cycle is going to be the shortest out of all of them. I think they're only doing a four month patch cycle for this this wipe because of like how how drastically they've changed everything. And then they're trying to work the balance. I think the four month wipe is probably a good idea because it's just by ad. Well, and they and they usually do a wipe that ends right around like Thanksgiving anyways, because they always have a Christmas event for fucking San- scav Santa and shit like that. Like they always have a Halloween event. They always have a Christmas event. New Year's, they always give you something. Yeah. And then it's usually usually once you're through all like the like the oh fun events, like once those are done. Everything starts leveling out because they actually start concentrating on the game again. The the events that I love are when they're running the events and they have four minute scav timers. That's like, that's the bee's knees. I think I've I think I've fallen in love with scaving, but I think it's because of Aaron. Like scaving has been so fun because we're just like let's creep through the bush here, like pick up some stuff and creep through the bush here. You know what I mean? But it's like when I get into the PMC, I'm like, all right, let's just push and go. And it's like, I'm ready to pop. Something. Yeah. And then fucking, I got, I, it's a, it's a scene from Adventure Time where like Finn is running through a dungeon, like killing things. And then like Jake's running behind him, like picking up the loot that the enemies drop. I feel like that's what Aaron's doing. I was like, I'm killing stuff now. I'd be like, Aaron, there's a guy over here to loot. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Aaron and Will. The, the thing Little is. Little fucking loot goblins. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> fucking, when we were in dorms was it when we were fighting i think it was when we ended up getting pushed by no because will wasn't there for that but <laughs> we were in dorms and we're all sitting there like we're like i kill a guy on staircase and then turn and kill a guy right at like the front door of dorms and like we're going around and you're like there's guys at the, like the door the, the side door pops mm-hmm. and you shoot two guys as they're coming in and we're like oh i run outside kill a guy real quick run just try to check his shit i start getting fired i run in there's will with his flashlight on just in this guy's pockets <laughs> on the stairs like what the fuck are you doing <laughs> <laughs> fucking little loot goblin but i mean it's it's fun though because like i play with aaron a lot and he's a good shot though too you know what i mean it's very infrequent when me and Aaron are playing together. Like, he, yes, he is looting. And we're still leaving the raid with, like, 25-plus kills combined, right? So it's not like we're not doing stuff, and he still makes it out alive. But now that they've they've introduced the new uh, Parmesan boss, um, scavs and PMCs will now rat. They sit in bushes at extract because they're trying to get the boss to spawn so there's like a new ai system for the scavs and this i'm almost positive this is in live as well too but for pve specifically pmcs in ai scavs will sit in bushes at extract to extract camp because that's how you get bad karma which will force the bond a boss to spawn on the map and so will has died multiple times already running to extract like we are fully looted up like to the teeth like we've got everything necessary uh, on the way to extract go to hit extract we're there boom dead and it's like oh <laughs> that, <fucking> <laughs> Dude, that will was hot hot he was big mad i hadn't seen him mad like that in a while. i was like i'm fucking done i'm going away i'm getting off right now like, <laughs> the irony of me celebrating the new boss thinking fuck you stank rat like finally your rate of terror is coming to an end made him even and bigger makes, and that makes pve force <laughs> all the ai to rat <laughs> like, not only uh, i've been i've been watching stank because right now they have twitch drops going on so if you're if you're watching certain people you can get bonus drop cases that have shit and yeah stuff. you can do that from clean you can do that from fucking you can and boss you yeah, can do that from a lot of people. Why do you gotta do it for fucking Stank Rat? Because Stank Rat is fucking amazing. You're fucking piece you, of shit. you may hate it. His content is great content, dude. It's so funny. It's so wild to just see him in the weirdest fucking spots. Watching this wife with him just like in weird ass rafter positions, just killing people. It, but he, like he was talking about, he killed somebody or, or somebody killed him. And so he had killed the Timmy that was running through ground zero or whatever. And then like a couple of minutes later, he's like, Oh dude, there's somebody coming. There's somebody coming. And that a person, and like, he kind of shifted to shoot and the dude looked straight up at him and just fucking annihilated them. And he was like, 
I think we're getting to the point now where people are realizing you can't just tunnel focus eye level. You, you've got to look up and look down. And now more people are doing that. And he's not like six, like super successful. I think the rat meta is even better now with Parmesan. The trip wires are fucking gross. He's like, he was down in D2 today. And he laid trip lines. And so when you hear the click, people just run because they hear the grenade and then they just run directly into him and die because he murders them. He's like, the trip mine just made ratting better because now people hear the trip mine click and no one's going to run backwards. Everybody's going to try to get past that point because you're inertia and everything. It's like, this is the year of the rat. Point, point 0.15 was for the rat. Embrace it. It's here to stay. It's only going to get worse. We got anything else we can talk about? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, who's that hot boy? Fucking I gotta hate that guy. I don't know why. That's a weird <laughs> thing to hate. I just I hate getting ratted, you know? I hate I hate when people find those positions and you do you you spend all like you fight, you're down to your last like half a mag, you're completely full with the spoils of like a good fucking fight in a shooting extraction game. And there's some piece of shit that's been sitting in a bush or in a tree for the whole for fucking just sitting there with a fucking thing of cheese puffs, just going, <laughs> just doing that. And then like, oh, 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 and he fires one bullet the entire time. And he gets all of that shit that I just fuck. Nah, fuck that. And it, if it wasn't bad enough, one guy doing it, I'll give it to you. Stink Rat is fucking funny. Yeah. He's got great comedic timing. <laughs> he, he he makes the situations way funnier than they even are. Yeah. But because of that, you've got Stink Rat, Hyper Rat. You've got all these people that have rat in their name, and they're just doing that, and they think that they're him. It's some fucking... It's some guy that probably looks like me. Like, <coughs> doing the thing. He's not even streaming or anything like that. He's just sitting there being a fucking piece of shit. And he fucking breathes this culture of fucking spineless men the things that are wrong with our fucking country they're just sitting there not fucking they're just hands out waiting for someone to come deliver the spoils of fucking war or they're taking an opportunity because people are like not paying attention and they're, yeah, they're the fucking guys that go to Walmart and look for a fucking wet floor without a sign. That's the fucking people they are <laughs> fucking sacks of shit so it looks like you need to clean up that floor right yeah, I'm clean up on aisle four. Fuck out of here. Fuck. Look, look, di oh. dying to rats are not fun. Now that PVE has rats, it's not any more fun. It's even no, worse. I know. It's that even worse. Me off even more. Yeah. So now you can't even blame the rat culture. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. <laughs> they didn't have to implement the boss if there wasn't this culture. Why would they introduce it into PVE? Why can't it just refs not in PVE? Why? Why the fuck would you have this in in PVE? No. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. It's the best way to get loot. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, moving <laughs> on to things that are wrong with this fucking world. <laughs> woke culture. <gasps> I love woke culture. Let's talk about it. I love woke culture. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I, I want to talk about a little... A little, a little game that's making a splash. Black, Wukong. Oh yeah, whatever the, that. The monkey game. The monkey game. The the game based on like ch Chinese lore yeah. of like the mon the monkey king and yeah. shit like that. Yeah. And like everybody. And uh, you can tell I've been watching a lot of Asman Gold because I'm gonna basically like say exactly what he's been saying. But he's like, woke culture is nothing more than fucking like a few jo journalists that don't actually play video games looking for a reason to bitch to try to make a name for themselves. 100%. And I love how I'm like, I only heard about this game because of like all the like, there's not enough diversity. It's a fucking <laughs> monkey. What do you want? The, like, not just and, the diversity. And Go ahead. second highest first player steam game of all time of all time <laughs> has overwhelmingly positive reviews at 301,000 reviews 301,000 reviews it released august 19th 
the biggest problem that a lot of people have with it is because it's a Chinese based game and it is high focus in Chinese mythology and there's nothing else outside of that. And that's what people are having a problem with. And I don't see the fucking problem. Who fucking cares? You know what I mean? Like, why is that the thing that you care about? Why is it that? Like, what, <laughs> what in the fucking world? We've played Tyrone souls for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. that's that's an that's an adventure in itself you know what i mean i think i'm packing all this shit up <laughs> i've got epstein <laughs> island fucking downloaded on my computer for god's sake um, you know what i mean you're you're bitching about the wrong things uh, unless <laughs> unless unless they're not bitching about those things because they're bitching about it they're bitching because it's a chinese-based company that's making a lot of money are the reviews and the people that are writing it the American-based fucking developer companies and things that where American companies are producing shit games such such fucking classics as Call of Duty Modern Warfare Three, <laughs> and 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 because of that they're now complaining about a company that actually like put time and effort into a single-player game. Why is it we're not bitching about fucking Elden Ring and all that stuff? You know, you know we have people like um. God, what's what's her name? Um the 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 so in Final Fantasy 14, the American voice actress for one of the main characters for the new expansion, Wooklamat, is I guess transgender or whatever. And everyone was like, Your fucking character's awful. You know what I mean? Like, and it's not it's not that her acting has been awful, just the writing of the story was fucking awful. And she's like, I'm just I'm getting all this hate and everything. It's like, well, you know. Have you played your game? Because it's not great. I fucking, you know, 16 hours of that story, I was like, I, you know, fucking bullet if I heard Wooklamat be like, we're going to be friends again. You know what I mean? It's like, holy shit, I can't do it. And so it's like, it's just a weird concept that people find things to just bitch about in video games when it's something simple like that. You can, you can look at like <laughs> Redfall. As a perfect example <laughs> of like and I, I bring it up because it's one of those things where like it hurts the most because you have a development team that like didn't want to do a live service game and so actively like 70 percent of, of arcane austin leaves and then the rest of the team that didn't want to do it just produces like a half ass not even a half ass like a fucking quarter ass attempt at the video game and then they're like, yeah, we've, we've, uh, the Microsoft's like, okay, we've just dissolved Arcane Austin. They produced fucking these brilliant games and then they're left with a shit. And it's like, but nobody's bitching about like the companies forcing people into doing stuff like that. We're bitching about things because a Chinese based game made a Chinese game and it's popular. Because there wasn't enough diversity. Where's the female antagonist? Oh, here's, here's an even better one. Talk about diversity. Ubisoft is producing uh, the next Assassin's Creed game. It's going to be taking place in feudal Japan. And the main character is going to be based around the first black yeah. samurai. Right. And, but, but not really, but not really, but kind of like loosely based because they have to keep their shit as historical as they possibly can. Even though the, that yeah. guy did exist. He was, he was really a, a person in real life. And there was something, it's not as blown up as it, it is now with like Afro samurai and that whole thing. But like, but he, but he wasn't. But he wasn't. But he was. But he wasn't. And I think it's a. I, he was more of like a like a sword bearer. Like he like he carried the guy's shit around. But he had. But <laughs> like, not only that, but he did train as a samurai at some point. Like, and a lot of this is all mytho like history. Is it true? Is it not? We're basing it off of whatever the fucking writing at that time period was. Yeah. So it, okay. it, it, we don't know. We weren't there. We don't know. But people fucking are losing their shit over having a black samurai as a main character. Pick a fucking side of the street to drive well, on, people. I want diversity, I but say, that's too much diversity. <laughs> I, I hear them. If it's not voiced by Samuel L. Jackson, I don't want it. Samuel L. Jackson was an Afro samurai. He was, no. he, he was the other guy in Afro samurai. He was the other, other dude, the other character. Don't care. Hmm. There's one voice actor for that. Oh, or Michael J. White, because he's the closest thing to an actual black samurai. Terrence Howard. <laughs> uh. 
We gotta go kill this Man. emperor main. <laughs> I think the Ter I think the Terran Tower bit is done. I think it's died. E ever since he like started trying to be a scientist and like beefing with Neil oh. deGrasse Tyson. Yeah. I I, I like I don't. I don't take his acting catalog as seriously no, as I used that's, to. That's fine, but the same thing. Like, I know fucking, you know, R. Kelly be pe peeing on kids. So I still like his music. Yeah, well, that's because you can feel good knowing that every time you listen to Remix to Ignition, the family is getting the stipend from the royalties. <laughs> oh, God, man, you're scraping the fucking barrel. I'm coping. Shh. I'm coping. I'm coping. <laughs> Running my hands through my fro, <laughs> bouncing on twenty foes. <laughs> oh my god! It's okay. a remix so, to ignition. Now I want. I would like to bring up the other side of the coin. Oh, there's another side. So there's not enough diversity, right? Okay. And the game that did not have enough diversity, it, overwhelmingly positive. Sure, right? absolutely. Just, just blowing shit out the water 100 percent. there's another one that isn't being criticized but is a good example of too much diversity oh okay i'm listening dustborn have you heard of this dustborn no <laughs> the opening it's like Oh, I don't even. Oh, 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 yes, I do know this. Yes, <laughs> I do know this. I do know this. Have you seen the opening trailer? For I it? have. I watched a little bit. I have not seen it. So this came out <laughs> around the same time, right? So this is this is interesting because I, I know that I remember this tag being on uh, Steam as an LBGTQ plus video game. So it's it's labeled specifically for that. And it's got it's got positive reviews, mostly positive reviews. It's like even even the trailer feels flat. Man, I think yeah. it's they're up there like you're doing like a, like a singing thing. Yeah. And they're going in the, and some guy comes, "Hey, listen. We don't we don't take kindly to people shoving politics in our face." When, when you're playing your music around here, like something like that, they're like, well, we're dust bored. <laughs> yeah. like, 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 like there's not even like, like music to like match, like the grandeur that like that moment should have been. Like, it's just like, <laughs> what? I, I and then like the, <laughs> the rest of it. It's. Uh, I think that, I think the thing with that game too, uh, one it, of the girls got a dump truck on her though. So careful, careful. She might only be what? into girls. So, what yeah, you're right. One of the persons Yeah, there you I go. can't even say that. No, that doesn't work. One either. of the Indi sentient in beings individuals? Can you say that? Don't know. No. Maybe. No, because it could be multiple people, right? That, that's what I'm saying. It could be a they them. I don't understand. I don't get it. Fuck, life would be so much easier with purple hair. Cause then you can just say whatever you want and then you'd be like, eh, he's on our side. <laughs> you gotta have hair first. We talked about big girl. <laughs> Can't do my head, so I'll do my beard. <laughs> if I ever see you with fucking teal ass blue fucking beard, game over. Uh, you know what? Honestly, here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> I when we when we talk about the diversity and that type of thing, I think on both sides. I think that something can be very good with high diversity, where it is strongly subject to like, you know. LBGTQ and all those different things. I'm I'm totally comfortable with things that are like highly focused on that, and then I'm also f comfortable with things that are highly focused on being a little bit more conservative or straightforward. And the, the you know the, their their message is there's only two genders. As long as the game is fucking good, exactly. No, I, that's it. Take away all of it. I don't care. You know how many dicks I sucked in fucking Baldur's Gate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> many. Don't care if the game is good. Don't care. Yeah, I, I, the only game that I want you to shove your fucking ideals and politics down my throat is the Infowars game. Everything else, <laughs> I don't care. That, Just yeah. make it good. Yeah. Make it good or make it extreme satire either fucking way. You know, give me quality within the content and I will play it. It's so, it's so funny too because you look back at, at uh, games from when we were younger or, or games from way back in the day that had 
gay or are are like you know just like off characters in that manner like there was a game called near that was released way back in the day and one of the main characters in it was there was this thing that a demon had taken over her body and then therefore she became like a transgender or some shit like that. It was really, really like vague throughout the story. Not that makes a, sense. Not a single person really gave a shit about that at the time period. Everybody was like, oh, okay, cool. And move forward. But now it's, it's a thing that's been brought to light a lot. And I know I, I, it's gotta be a lot of the thing. And I don't, I don't know because, and this is me just speculating because I'm, I'm not part like I, I'm a, I'm an ally. I guess you could say, right? Like I support it. I've got gay friends. I've got friends that are, you know, I know multiple people that are gay, you know? It's not one of those like, well, I got a black friend so I can say the N word type of thing. But you can though. Yeah, I've got a dick. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got a dick so I can suck one. Exactly. I I know exactly how to pull mine so I know exactly how to pull his, right? Do you ever have a bitch pull yours and it's like, nah, girl, I could do that myself. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm I'm batting for a team. <laughs> I've, sh I've shook your hand. <laughs> yeah. I feel those calluses yeah, already. That's exactly right, man. Shake Sean's hand. Six <laughs> hour fucking <laughs> run. <dude. laughs> it's like you see with a glove on filled with lotion. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> but uh, so I I just it's not something that like is i i think about i don't care i don't care until it's shoved in my face it's the same thing with politics religion sexuality like money you could put you could put it in there but just put a period not an exclamation point uh, yeah i'm totally comfortable when things are just like it's a natural thing like when someone's just like okay last of us part two is a perfect example <laughs> of a game that i was really kind of feeling off about because the whole thing with ellie being gay didn't bother me it wasn't a big deal that she was gay throughout the game or whatever but it was like every fucking scene that was like an important scene that was played out was some love thing about her and this girl and it was like okay it was kind of like a cool adventure but then it was like every other little thing without the game was also that as well and i was like you're kind of taken away from this whole brilliant yeah. story of this apocalypse in these people's lives and like yeah it was kind of focused around this like girl and her just trying to like exist in a world with love but it was just like every fucking thing was about that and it was like at a certain point i was like i just i'm sick of fucking hearing it like it's not that i didn't care i didn't want it to be like open and out there so people could you know i, I don't know some people could latch on to and feel you know close to in that manner and maybe because i'm not gay or whatever that it didn't like resonate the same way with me but I, as i was playing the game i was just like i don't really care i just want to kill zombies i want to see fucked up shit that's happening with zombies that's not why i got this game especially coming up from the first game to this game it just didn't hit the same way and again maybe that's my ignorance maybe i'm just fucking pseudo white fucking you know, yeah. I, you know what? What are uh, you're cis, cis, cis male? That's what I am. You know what I mean? Piece of shit. I piece of shit. I just, it is what it is. You know, and it's like I don't care. Like at the end of the day, it's like I don't give a fuck what you are. But you know what? If you're a piece of shit and an asshole, I'm gonna call you a piece of shit and an asshole. Yeah. Fucking. I really thought I had something. Never mind. Yeah. Keep going. <laughs> but. That's the thing with games. There's a lot of things that are just kind of like high. Okay. You know who are my favorite gay characters in video games? Hammerlock from the Borderlands. Him and his husband, whatever. The, did you ever play the Hammerlock? Hammerlock. Hammerlock. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. I had to think for a second. I don't know. Great characters. Don't know. You know what I mean? Interesting. Fun. Wasn't thrown down your throat. There's a there was a whole DLC. It was about him and his husband and that whole thing. Yeah, and they're Just, like mansion. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. It was fantastic. You know what I mean? So <clears> it's <throat> like you can do it well. You can do it in a way that doesn't feel like you're trying to make a statement, and it just makes yeah. the game that much better. You know what I mean? Or, mm -hmm. God, imagine. Here's another thing I'm okay with. Imagine like a Gears of War type like shooter. Just like everything is just like. Ugh. You and your fucking team going through, and just at the very end, like I mean, like a twelve-hour like straight through campaign, and just the very end, like ugh, like everything's on fire, the alien ships coming down and crashing, and Marcus just turns 
grabs the guy by the plate, carries <laughs> kisses. I just watch him like, no, no. like if you, if, you, if you give me like that, bravo, I was bravo. Gonna, I think that's hilarious. I would, that was the next one. If you could hit me with a shock value, yeah, where like it's Gears of War, but halfway through, all of a sudden, it just slowly turns to Broke Dick Mountain. <laughs> what am I playing? You know what I mean? You know, I I'm, gonna, want I'm gonna finish it. <laughs> I don't even want it to be slowly. I want it very abruptly at the end. Oh. So people are playing it and they're just talking, like, dude, this game's so fucking intense and good. And blah blah blah. And at the very end, they're like, I've been gay this whole time. Like, like they just have like a <laughs> like a moment where they have to go to the mirror and like reconcile with themselves. Like, is this really me? How I feel? Oh man. Uh, uh, th- Shake the week. <laughs> that would be that would be fucking fantastic. Because you know all the review copies are like the first 12 hours of the video game, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I just write at the end, yeah. everybody, everything changes. Yeah. All the reviews, oh, don't watch this. <laughs> the first it's, it's, it, what what made me think of this is uh The Last of Us. Mm-hmm. The TV show mm-hmm. when they show uh, fucking Franken Nick Nick Offerman, mm-hmm. well, yeah. But bef- but before but before they start like wine and dining each other, he's he fucking like evades the cops and he stays and like every fucking like guy like me is like, dude, that'd be fucking me. I remember I remember leading over to my girl or watching that. I was like, that'd probably be me. You know, I get a plan. I got guns. I'd be like doing it out, and the next thing you know, like he's making him like stuffed rabbit and pairing it with wine, like. Something's a little, something's a little off here. <laughs> I, mean, they kiss, you're like, mm, I take back everything I said about it. Like, like just that, that switch where like your opinion got so radicalized in, just because of one simple thing, I the, think is the funniest thing in the world. In the game too, it was like highly hinted at, but it wasn't really like specified. You just got to the point where you're like, it's very possible. It's very, very possible that these two are, are, are a hole is a hole. It's the end of the world. It holds a hole. It's exactly right. You know, I don't give a fuck. I'm just trying to nut, move on. You know, uh. <laughs> but the show when the show had had hit it, I was like, and it was weird too because I don't know. It wasn't weird. That's not the right word I want to say. I felt weird. I think more or less because I watched the episode and was like, that was a great fucking episode. It was fucking beautiful. It was a beautiful episode, and I would know and, and the way they ended together. Yeah, oh, man, I, fucking and, and like fucking Joel's there, and like he like you know he knows that they're in the room or whatever, and it's like the whole thing, and it's like. Where so what I uh, yeah we're just gonna get out of here you know type of thing and it was this whole fucking beautiful love story and I yeah. got done with it and I was like I was done so well so perfectly that I yeah. didn't care you know it wasn't a big deal to me <laughs> I don't know how we got on this topic uh, you know we started yeah I don't know gay people uh, cool. diversities. I was, yeah. What was it? Was it? Is it? Was it Bill Burr? Bill Burr was talking about it. it was like, you ever seen like a guy and a woman together? And like, he's like, but then you see like two gay guys or whatever. They're the happiest people in the world. It's like, yeah, <laughs> might be the women, yeah. man. <laughs> like, <it's> like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. Good lord, man. Well, I mean, other than that, well, you know, I mean, if you want to get away from any type of controversy or anything like that, well. It won't have controversy, but you're going to have Space Marine 2 is coming out in like a couple weeks. See, that's what I'm talking about. If at the very end of that, oh, your main character is gay. You find out <laughs> like, an like, actual Space Marine. Yeah, it's like, yeah, that would ruin. That would Takes ru- his hell with all of it. That, yes. that might fuck up all of the 40, 40K lore. You would have people potentially riot over that. <clears throat> that's what i want that's what i want you want to make a statement come on give me the diversity we're asking for ghost and Save fucking until the end ghost, let everybody get real invested ghost and price make out in the next call of duty yeah see oh. see like that's... bravo six going dark but he's just turning off a light switch <laughs> in their bedroom <laughs> turns it off but you still see the candle <laughs> You see the candle, the candle flicker in the background, going dark. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> see if you're gonna do it, do it like that. Yeah, make it, make it fun. No, well, th- then there's the problem. That the, the opposite is gonna see that you're poking fun at it, and that's what they're gonna rage over. You can't, on, you can't guys. do that. You can't do that because that's that's the negative effect. You can't. You can't make fun of people because it's not okay to make fun of people. That's, the fuck it is. No, make, no. That is 
That is South Park. Make fun of everybody. Yeah, exactly right. No one's safe. No one's no. safe. And you know how much controversy that gets? None. All the controversy. Well, yeah, it does. It gets all. Nobody, no, nobody, <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, it does, but it also doesn't. It's like an unspoken rule. It's like, you know, South Park's going to get a hold of this. Yes. Like, it, nothing's off the table. Everybody will get an equal share of being fucked with. And in that respect, it, it does make everyone okay. e- It makes everyone equal at that point. You know what I I've mean? I've learned in a Reading Walmart that's not the same with racial slurs. You can't just say them all and it's okay. Like, no, no, no. I said the one about the Jews too. Like, like you, you, that one, you just got to ease up well, on, I, but South Park can get away with it. Someone said something the other day, or I was reading something the other day or, so, or I was watching. That something. joke sounded funnier in my head. Yeah. I was going to say <laughs> where if, if you are comfortable with that type of idea, right? Like you say, you say the, 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 the gay slur, the F one, right? Or you say the black N one. Which one are you more likely to say? Let's see, yeah. And you know what I mean? And so like there comes that point where when I'm hard F it over the hard door. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's the problem. I'll though. say it like Draco Malfoy pronouncing the P in Potter before I do the hard R like that. My problem is my problem is I will <laughs> <laughs> Potter. <laughs> um <laughs> but that is the problem though too right it's like <clears throat> you know if if you're willing to say a word over another word there's obviously that word means more but then for someone else why why is it that that word means more than something else if i am offended by something i shouldn't have to hear it and i respect that i respect that my my take on it is words are just fucking words this is true. You know what I mean? Words words have nothing if, unless you put meaning behind them. If we say words, look at look at Django Unchained. You know, words are just words. Now, they mean something when they're put into context in a time period in a movie and a, whatever it comes out to. But until you actually put meaning behind something, it doesn't matter. Pat at one point had asked me to use the F word at him. And I was like, I threw it. I just said it. And it was just like, he was like, wow, well, making a joke. And Aaron was like, well, I will never say it. I will never say it. I was like, yeah, you can never say it. And that's totally fine. That's an acceptable decision on yours. But like, I don't mean anything by it, by saying it. I don't mean anything saying it. Like I used to say it in 2007 on Call of Duty. And I didn't actually mean it then too. Like I wasn't, I wasn't calling someone gay when I used I to fucking did. <laughs> oh God, I did. I wasn't saying it in the way that I thought that person was actually <laughs> gay, you know? Yeah, it's true. But that's also the problem. And that's when we become comfortable using these slurs <laughs> or these things against it. Not only did I fucking mean it in 2007, I did fuck that guy's dad. <laughs> I did. Fucking what? <laughs> oh my God. God, that fucking guy. <laughs> You're such a piece of shit. You're like, I, I fucked your dad. <laughs> what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I sucked the shit out of this cock. Let him come down my throat. <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. God. Oh, I miss, <laughs> I miss shit talking online. Um, I did too, man. I sent you that that Instagram the other day, right? Those people. God, was, that's <laughs> what I miss about live Tarkov. Uh, like she's like the fucking yeah. When you like you're you're in a fight and you can you're both like <laughs> and like you hear you're both surging up and it's like this is the perfect time. Hey, fuck you! And like just like this shit talking just starts down a hallway and then you hear some guy pushing like uh, I don't think both of us are gonna survive this. You want to team up for a second? Yeah, yeah. Fuck these guys! Like, like every, just the dynamic of voice just dramatically shifting everything. Oh uh, man, people are wild. I love people. I love I love. I love racist people the most because they're so passionate about being racist. Like they sure are. They sure are. They sure are. And it's, it's Does great. It Maybe a bad person. That sometimes I want to like pour a little gas on that flame too. Just oh, to like really get like the full experience. Yeah, You want to see how far they'll go. Like at what point do they just like, I- you see the arm race? <laughs> it's like, Whoa, Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> <Calm> down, <man. laughs> just some fucking 
German <laughs> horns rising up in the background. We do it over there. You do step it on your computer desk. What's that? Oh man, because they're the people that get the most fired up the quick. Well, it's both sides. It's like the heavily racist and then the heavily you know fucking woke. Those are the two people that yeah. write. The people that also, when it comes back to the woke culture, the people who aren't gay, the the allies, those types of people, those are the ones that are the most fucking ruthless. And it's like, man, I will hear it from a gay person when someone, when a gay guy walks up to me and tells me, hey, you need to shut the fuck up. I'm out. You know what I mean? I got no, no, no battle in that fight. I got some fucking random Karen at Kmart screaming at me. I'm like, who the fuck are you, lady? You know what I mean? It's hard. It's hard. Hard to find a fine line to walk. I'm just a good person. Oh, no. I take that back. I'm a fucking terrible person. I'm just terrible across the board. As long as I'm terrible, <clears throat> everybody's everybody's equal. I think, I think we're like in that re reverse bell curve. Mm. We're not great people. But we're also not like the radicals. So like like they they're on like the moral high ground. These guys think there are. But like somewhere, somewhere, if you dissect the middle, if you take this peak and this peak, and you go down to like where you just kind of don't give a shit. Mm -hmm. See up here, they're giving too many shits. But right. if you go down the peak, we're residing right here. Yeah. And when you don't you, you, when you don't give a shit, you don't rub it in people's faces. Even if you're yeah. not a great person, yeah, you're not one of these assholes. Yeah, because you're 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 split between both halves. So you're working. You've got too much going on. When you get back to here, then you're focused yeah. on just one thing. Just live in you're the center. Just, you're just right here, and and then you make everyone that one person that you're working on is just as happy. Oh, everything is packed up. I'm looking for anything dick shaped right now. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I had a oh! plethora of them <laughs> <laughs> laying around on my desk for when I'm playing games, you know? Oh, when I play Tarkov, I definitely put one in. One of those little Omnibod things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so funny! What was that? What's the that? subwoofer butt plug? <laughs> What's I think? It's like, who's got a dildo in their butt? Is it Steve? <laughs> 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 Turn it off. <laughs> we lost a remote. <laughs> <laughs> one of us has a vibrator up their bums <laughs> who could it be is it me is it jeff is it steve the guy the guy that's thinking to is like bopping and they get to him and he's like <laughs> 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 oh fuck oh man I miss, I miss, uh, man, I've been watching old, uh, old, um, college, <laughs> college humor stuff. Oh, they were, man, the kings of the internet for t a period of time. College humor. Goddamn. Just hearing the college humor. College humor, Pete, when Pete Wentz was there doing all the Batman skits, fucking. <laughs> I was a man. Now I'm a bad. <laughs> um, Hold on, Alfred. What has this and it will riddle me? Did you say helicopter? Yeah, I drove that's that. That's what I said. <laughs> helicopter. <laughs> it's bullets. God, that I, it, old college humor is is kind of a lawless time of the internet too. You know what uh, I mean? There was more. There was more freedom. For people like being offended by things or whatever. Or uh, Filthy Frank is another good one of just like, do you ever watch Filthy Frank? Uh-uh. The pink guy? You know oh, Joji or whatever his name? Bane? Yeah. Yeah. So Joji, like he's... Uh, the Bane meme where Bane's like this and then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Filthy Frank is there. So he, he had a channel <laughs> and that was just out of nowhere. You know what I mean? And that was as, as fucking controversial as it could have got for its time period but it's like it's great comedy greek humor because it didn't mean anything behind it you know the last bastion of hope i think is the air Condry show <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well He's the last one towing that line <laughs> i don't know anymore after what's his name uh bruges whatever or what is his name fucking Hannibal beers Hannibal beers yeah 
Hannibal, when Hannibal left, I think that's when the show kind of like it did take it a wild turn, wild turn, because I just watched Eric fucking do a TikTok or some shit like that where he's like, I uh, he flew out to like Australia or something, and then like like gave him a bunch of racist shit or something, and he was like, I shouldn't have to feel like when I come into a new country or whatever that I should be like objectified, but da da da, and it's like. Bro, have you watched any of your fucking content? Like, who, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> who are you speaking to, man? And I don't know. It didn't seem like it was parody, you know, or if it was just for the laughs. He seemed like he was really offended by it. And it's like, it's a weird concept. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, well, I do this for comedy and it's not real. So when I have to deal with it in real life, it feels bad. It's like, okay. But you also do this in an idea that's like, you shouldn't give a shit because it's just a joke, but you shouldn't also take it personal because it's just words. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, when you, when you're showing up to, you know, you either give a shit about everything or you get a shit about nothing. That's exactly right. You know, it's, it's different when people are fucking speaking words. And then when people are burning crosses, your front lawn, right? When people are taking yeah, action. Cliff. Yeah. <laughs> when people are taking action, <laughs> that's when you go, okay, that needs to stop. When people are just spitting bullshit at you, it's like, I, I could room. I'm going to go home and eat dinner and sleep in my bed and have a fucking good night's sleep, you know? Yeah. Man, I wish I wish I was one or the other. I wish I was full white or full Korean. I got to pick a side of the fucking road, dude. You don't want to be full white, bro. I'm telling you. Do I have a... Well... I'm telling you, it's hard. They say it's hard out here mm. for a pimp. <laughs> Push that shit, bitch. See, that's a Terrence Howard. Fuck, he's back. I'm telling you, man, you can't get rid of him. I can't. Yeah. Who gives his, I, I watch his fucking science bullshit, and I'm like, bro, you are out of your mind. You've you've burnt something, dude. You got the simplest you know, you, you going know that on. Crazy person where they like they like li they lick their lips and their eyes get wide with like this the slightest bit of like agreeance, like yeah, oh, you're buying it. Like he's got that. <laughs> well, was it was it on the Joe Rogan or whatever? Where he's like, I gotta turn my phone off. They're tracking me or whatever. And it was like, whoa. He was on Joe Rogan, and then he was on Joe Rogan again, but this time with a scientist that was like, I need to, I need to listen to you so I can give you criticism on because right, right now I don't really even have a a mindset of what you're saying, so I don't want to take anything that you're saying out of context. I want you to explain it all to him, and he went through and like he very politely ripped to shreds almost everything he has sick dude but that's how we learn as people man because of and that's what he was saying he was like you've never been formally taught you've never had an education yeah. in this yeah and it's all been self-taught so i can see where there's a lot of holes yeah exactly and that's okay but because as long as you have a concept and then you can fill those in those holes in with the knowledge that's how you become a stronger person in general knowledge is key man <laughs> knowledge is wealth you know but if no one's willing to do that because you're a celebrity it's like see therein lies a problem too famous too big to be saying these things so he went unchecked and he's given like keynote speeches at places like harvard yeah because <laughs> like, no. but that's the thing if you're having those keynote speeches at harvard and no one's sitting in the crowd going what the fuck is this guy talking about right like that's the problem they watched hustle and flow the night before you want to talk back to him i mean it's like Jonah Hill and fucking 22 Jump Street. Yeah. He's black. He's had a hard life. Can you get the man some water? <laughs> no, he doesn't say anything. Just. All right. But that's, that is a big thing. That's what, like, so, you know, when it comes to opposite sides of things, you know, the left and the right, the, the, the liberal, the conservative, whatever it comes out to politics in general, or, whoa, or whoa, fucking, whoa, 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 whoa. hold on, listen, 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 listen. This is important. Why did you say liberal than the conservative? I heard that. You called conservatives cunts. Well, I mean, was that, was that a little bit of a slip there? It could have been a Freudian, Freudian slip. I mean, the conservatives, con, con, con. You you said cunt. <clears throat> anyway, you said it like an Australian. It rolled so freely we're, off we're, your lips. We're on YouTube. We got to cater to the masses. Um, <laughs> we're on YouTube. That word and me repeating it just got this all demonetized. Oh, thank God we don't make money here. Um, <laughs> nobody watches this shit. <laughs> <laughs> but what if I can't open it? Um, one of the one of the the best 
pieces of advice I ever got or ever read or wherever it came from, I don't know where I even found it, was that when there's two sides telling you two different things, someone is saying it's sunny outside and someone's saying it's raining outside. It is not your job to pick a side. It's your job to go outside and look up and see. Like that's that's all it comes down to. So when there are two sides of any fucking coin, I'm instantly just looking. Just looking, just seeing what it is. And like, you can't trust Google, right? Because your algorithm's going to fucking feed you whatever you're already into. And it's controlled by the lizard people. It is, absolutely. So like, if every article is this so one I that you want to see, duck, and then go. there's like, there's lamps, sun lamps, and flies, and then you, yeah. But that's the thing. It's like not even just duck, duck, go. What I do is like, what I may personally believe in, I already look for the opposite side of what I believe in. If I believe that Christ was the son of God or whatever, my first thing is to look at the opposite side of that and why is he not the son of God, right? To find the middle ground. That's the only thing that's an important point. If you don't do that, then you just blindly follow bias and you become a fucking stupid sheep. Yeah. So much Sorry, for, guys. So much Have for, a nice Monday. So much for a <laughs> video game podcast. <laughs> Don't be a piece of shit. Be better to humans. <laughs> Just worry about yourself. Take care of your things. You know, make your money. Jerk whatever you got to jerk. It's okay. Fart in a jar and sell it online. A hole is a hole. Yeah, a hole is a hole. All right, guys. We're out of here. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs>